This is the American Ag Network. I'm Rusty Halverson. We're broadcasting from Mitchell, South Dakota at Dakota Fest, talking with Mike Larson of Peterson Farm Seed. And Mike, you've got an event coming up in September back home, the field day for your company. Yes, September 5th, starting at 1030. Uh, we'll have speakers uh, on the hour. We have Paul Jaza. He's from Nebraska. He'll be talking about planter setup and minimum till conditions. The other one, we got Ken Ferry, nationally known speaker on corn production. We have Jason Hansen from Devil's Lake, rock and roll agronomy, one of the most intelligent, fun to listen to agronomic speakers I've ever been around. He's just he's an awesome friend of mine. Along with that, we've got you know just the, the, the usual stuff. We have uh, demonstrations of the Enlist 3, the Liberty GT27s. We've got the Roundup Extend. Um, Flex demos demonstration. This is new stuff. Something so you got new in the pipeline. right. It's it's not it's not out to get that yet. It's it's um it's stewarded. We yep. have to we can't it can't get into the in the stewardship program. But you're checking it out. Right. We have over actually 500 plots of that of those varieties on our farm this year. So we're taking a hard look at that. So that's the extend flex is Roundup, Dicamba, and Liberty. Okay. So that's that. Along with that, we've got, you know, our field demonstrations. One thing I did, I asked Adam this spring. Mm -hmm. I said, how do you want me to set up the demo plot on soybeans? So we've, we've got, you know, the Enlist, you've got the GT27s, yep. along with, you know, the Roundup Extends. Yep. And he said, put them by maturity. So they're all treated just with Roundup, basically, and then hand-picked some of the water hemp. We're doing that right now. Okay. But <laughs> the cool thing is you can take a look at from a double O all the way to 2.3 bean, and by maturity, by trait. So you can take, okay, this is the extend, this is the enlist, this is the GT27. Yep. Good idea on Adam's part. And we've had a kind of a difficult year farming this year, so we're not, it's oh, not yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. One that, it was tough from the beginning, but the week of J July 8th, we had a four and a half, a two and a two and a half inch rain event. Yep. So, but things have recovered pretty good. Yep. Actually, I, I was away from when at Farm Fest or whatever, yep. long story short. I was out there on Friday, and things are looking not that bad. Good. So, good. Good. so, well, we're going to learn a lot this year. That's for sure. Well, there's no question. Okay. So, okay. And folks can go online to find a schedule and kind of the day's events at petersonfarmsseed.com. Yes. Correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for your time here at Dakota Fest. We appreciate it very much, Mike. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty. You betcha. From Dakota Fest in Mitchell, South Dakota, I'm Rusty Halverson for the American Ag Network.